Hey, 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 you guys, Richard Babe Saves. Happy holidays and welcome back to the channel. You guys, you guys, guess what? Oh my God, you guys, you guys. I know that I have been doing a series of these EBT eligible videos. You guys, you would never believe the next store that I found. Kroger, Kroger, you guys, if you have a Kroger in your area, be sure to check these out. You guys, these are the variety of gift sets that I did find. You guys may find others. Okay, you guys, you know how we do. Let's jump right into this video rather quickly. Have a little small rant at the end as well. All right, you guys, here we go. Okay, first up is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Cup? It's a very large cup, you guys. I don't know if that's doing it any justice, my camera. Okay, you're going to get five pieces of the candy you're gonna get a little teddy bear or puppy or rudolph i can't really tell and you're getting this very large mug you guys that was 14 dollars and 99 cents it's a little steep but like i said it's ebt eligible if you want a little gift you're getting your little cup and you're getting the little stuffed animal and the candy you can always add a little few more pieces in there as well and a little bow okay also next up you guys is the heath bar mug cake cake honey baby it's been a little dispute about this today as you can see i have purchased this twice at walmart and a third time at kroger okay we'll get into that little rant in one moment all right you guys and my oh my god my favorite deal you guys you guys the hershey's dark chocolate brownie skillet kit this is a cast iron skillet you guys Cast iron skillet, okay? And then you're getting your Hershey's mixes. You're getting the cocoa mix. See here? One cast iron skillet, Hershey's brownies mix, and the dark chocolate. Now, you guys, I don't know if it's just on the dark chocolate only. Okay, here we go, you guys. And I do not like to do this on my channel, you guys. As you know, I have come a long way. I did not start off in this sector. I started off in another sector. But you, you guys, Retro Babe's trying to remain positive, honey. We're trying to help people over here, okay? We're busy moms on budgets. We're frugal moms. We're stockpilers. We're couponers. And we're just moms and dads as well, okay? We're just trying to save families money. No drama over here, please. Okay, if these deals do not work for you in your area, try a different store. Or it may be your miles may vary. Try a different location. You guys, I'm only trying to help over here. But like I said, if one deal does not work for you, try a different store out of you. Not to take you out of your area, but sometimes it'll work at one store. Sometimes it may work at a different location. Because I never, I'm not being bogus over here. We're not trying to be frauds. We're trying to give you information that will help your family. Okay, you guys, let's go over this receipt really quickly. Because uh, no drama, no lies, and definitely no games. I'm going to show everything, honey. You can see where I live. You can see uh, the city. You can see all of that, EBT, honey. Okay, it was $8.99. Hershey's skillet, Heath mug cake was $5.99. It was actually more here than Walmart. You got your uh, that jumbo mug, $14.99. And that was kind of costly, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, I don't need it, but maybe someone may. Okay, $29.97 in EBT. There is no tax on EBT, as you guys know. Deducted it, purchases today, $12.22. You see that? Let's try to focus here. Okay, and then you see my balance, one seventy one twenty five. Okay, twenty. You see, it take, was taken off, twenty nine ninety seven. All right, I'll go back even further. I went over to Dollar Tree, and I purchased thirty two dollars and fifty cents and some little spaghetti sauces and Alfredo and things like that for my children. But anywho, it was my balance was two oh two. As you can see, 201, I'm sorry, 201, 22 cents. That was my last balance. Once I took off this 29.97, it gave me this balance of 171.25, which shows I did purchase this item, as you can see. Food stamps balance due, 29.97. It deducted it. Okay, it gave me my new balance of 171.25, which is y'all none of y'all business. But I am showing you, baby, because we don't do no fraudulent activities over here. I'm over here trying to help. Okay, here is, again, the Walmart receipt. You guys can see this. Okay, I purchased those socks. Remember, for my son, they were $7.97. And 
and then that big popcorn kit was seven, was twelve ninety seven. The large popcorn kit, if you guys uh, refer to the movie night popcorn kit, and there was the original heat bar. See, it's five dollars right here. Okay, mug cake. Let me pull back. Okay, that came out to seventeen ninety eight. I have it circled seventeen ninety eight. There is no tax on that. Okay, deducted it. Show my information again. I scratched on my pen. Beginning balance was thirty three hundred fourteen oh four. Okay, after they deducted that seventeen ninety eight, made it to ninety six. Hold on, you guys. I can't see myself. I need my readers. Two ninety six oh six right here. I purchased these items. I have no reason to tell you otherwise. And why would I tell you that, honey? If it was that was something I wanted to gain. Uh, I don't know, clickbait title or something like that. I could have said we had got shrimp and lobster over here, honey. I don't know. <laughs> We're not going to be doing this. We're trying to help families. Okay? So try it in another store, you guys. Okay? I had someone to come on. They said they couldn't purchase the heat bar. Try Kroger. As you can see, I just went to Kroger and purchased this. Try your local Kroger. Or try a different Walmart, baby. Do what works best for you. Okay, that is that first ring. The second one is a lot of people are, not a lot, but if you were coming over, uh, you know, someone always had, they're triggered. Okay, you look, let me tell you something. My favorite, and I'm not trying to encourage buying cakes, pies, cookies, snacks, soda, oh, uh, no, no. Because actually, if you stay with this channel long enough, you'll know that I would encourage you to buy your seeds and plant your own fruits and vegetables, honey. And that way you have, if you can grow your own food, you'll always eat. Okay, I'm an old school country girl, okay? I'm not deep country, but my parents were. And that's how I grew up. My parents grew their food, all right? These items, because you know how it is nowadays, how the kids, they, well, they want the little, they want a puppy with the cup and the little candy. They want the little heat bar. They want the candies. They want the little treats. It's Christmas, okay, you guys? My favorite item that my parents, my mother actually made for me, when times were hard, my dad worked on his job 34 years, honey. Bless his heart. One year, Anderson Telly here locally, it went on strike. Okay? If you know, living in this area, you know what I'm talking about. My dad was a proud man. He did not want my family to go on food stamps. Okay? My mama grew and baked. She baked from scratch, baby, and she grew vegetables in the garden. Honey, mama made me a pan of fudge for my birthday. She told me things were going to be hard. Y'all, that was my favorite birthday present, even to this day. I, when I think on my mom, when I think on my parents, my dad was too proud to set me any food stamps. And he did eventually go back to work after they were all called off strike. But my mom made me a pan of budget for my birthday. She was also a praying woman and a helpful woman. So she would throw, she would uh, be the type to say, turn the other cheek, honey. See, retro babe, I'm just become, becoming a saved woman. All right, y'all. So watch what you say over here. But my mother would turn the other cheek, honey. She said, I don't pay these people any mind. But my mother made me a pan of fudge, honey. She's also a praying woman. She loved her gospel. She was listening to the gospel channel, WQBC. If you're in my area, you know exactly again what I'm talking about. She called and won a little contest on the radio, won me some free balloons. They sent them up to my school that day. I was about 15 years old, so I was old enough to understand when times get hard. She had already told me I wouldn't be able to get anything. And we did come up hard and poor and, and all that. I'm not going to complain. It was just that time right after Christmas and my birthday was between Valentine's and all that. So we were we always given a lot, but it was going to be tight that year with my dad on strike, Okay. So she made that pan of fudge, honey, and she won those balloons for me. And I was dating a little old guy, too. So <laughs> so his parents, you know, had got me something as well. So they all stripped in and made a special occasion for me. But the, my most favorite thing was the fudge that my mother made out of a can of carnation milk and some cocoa mix, baby. Two ingredients, baby. She got that wax paper and those containers that she used to save from thrifting. Or saved from other containers, honey, and just made it so special for me. Okay, and that's my favorite thing. If you guys do not have anything for your family, get this $5 cocoa mix, put it in a cup, bake this with your child, sit down and watch a movie and have you some good memories. Buy this cup, okay? With the teddy bear in there, fill in some more candy and, and let your child have a, a beautiful Christmas.
and have good memories with you if you just don't have anything but your food stamps. This cast iron skillet is a real cast iron skillet. Honey, I'm from the South, babe. You know how much a cast iron skillet costs down here? Okay. Bake this with your child. Get you a scoop of ice cream, sit down and watch a movie, and make you some good memories. All right. So don't come over here with that ranting. Don't come over here with the triggering and accusing people of buying cakes, pies, cookies, and things that do not need. And also, here's some oranges. And well, I'm making a stand real with this, but we'll get into that later. Oranges, apples bag of nuts make a little mixed bag some little checks mix for your children make some ice be creative we're not over here saying bad cake pies snacks and cookies with your ebt purchase what you like but also be creative if you can buy seeds to grow food do that as well okay if you can stockpile that's what we're doing couponing and stockpiling over here stockpile while the pandemic is going on and while the inflation is also going on to save your family some money that's what we're over here doing okay so all the people that are with me, stick with me. And thank you so much for your support and thanks for watching. All right, you guys. Um, and also, same thing. I have a child who cannot have that sugar. She has granola. I'm showing her when I read gills. I shouldn't be I shouldn't even be explaining myself, but granola, here you go. You don't have to always have cake pies and cookies and snacks and things like that. You can purchase whatever you want for your children and have a blessed, blessed, happy holiday. Okay. All right, you guys. Like I said, those are the three items that you can purchase at Kroger. Okay. Let's do a quick little, uh, <laughs> actually what is regular price out of all the items that I have been showing you guys, the cotton candy down to the Walmart, honey, cotton candy is $3 original price. It is not EBT eligible. Regular price, $3. If you see this red Santa, honey, with this fun treats, cherry berry, maybe it's just this flavor. It is $3 of all things, the cotton candy, which is a candy fluid item. It's regular price. All right, you guys. Also, the candy tins. You remember, these are $5. These are $5 at Walmart on EBT. They're also $5 at Dollar General on EBT. I didn't show you guys that video, but it was a small little video. But at Dollar General, you can also purchase the popcorn tins. If you can find the tins with the puppies on them. I'm here. They are one dollar. That's right, one dollar cheddar, popcorn, and original, and I think caramel. One dollar if you can find the popcorn tins with the puppies on them. All right, you guys. And also, I have not forgot you guys. These items in the back are a list of the things that I will be getting for you guys for your giveaway. Oh my God, it's gonna be a quick little turnaround, you guys, because obviously, I'm getting this out late. You guys still want to participate in the giveaway i will have this together tomorrow i have it on the page on the channel tomorrow all right and also i'm doing my own little personal subscriber giveaway so it'll be two giveaways all right y'all be blessed be happy haters take a sugar cookie i'll come back over to the channel i'm gonna show you guys how to do a nasty holiday sangria honey we're gonna do this little christmas time sangria see my pomegranates see my pomegranates they look freaky and weird, but they're so good. Got our limes and the coconut honey. Got our gala apples. We're going to make us a little Christmas thing. Grill, honey, have us a good on time. And shake the devil off and shake these haters off. All right, you guys. These are the items for the giveaway. I'll be back. Also, be back with a penny haul. I didn't show that haul this week from Dollar General, the fall harvest. Oh, my God, you guys. I am flowers wasted. Oh my God. So stay tuned for that. I don't mind showing and telling which uh, videos are coming up next. It'll give some of you guys some ideas. <laughs> and also it um, encourages you to come back to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Happy holidays. Be safe, you guys. Remember to hug one another. You guys that don't have your loved ones with you, remember they're always with you in spirit. All right, you guys. Until the next one, happy holidays.